companies are cutting back, resources are scarce still in this economy, the pressure to produce is greater than ever. So wonder then that a recent U.S. survey found that over 80% of employees said they felt overworked and underappreciated. Pamela Meyer is an instructor of business creativity at DePaul University in Chicago. Her new book is entitled From Workplace to Play Space, Innovating, Learning, and Changing Through Dynamic Engagement. Dynamic engagement, it sounds very... Um, complex, but it's not. It's not really. And you checked out some very successful companies, and you did find some common denominators there. Yes, I did. And you know, one of the things I discovered was that most of us are socialized that work and play aren't compatible, and the successful companies are finding a way to transcend that work-play dualism. So we find that these are productive companies, but people are having fun. They're they're very focused, but they're also energizing, and they're they're playful and they're serious at the same time. You know, you um, you sent us some video of uh, of some of the examples. You uh -huh. know. We've got employees, you know, doing the hula hoop and playing games. But there's more to that than that. It's not as simple as saying, oh, well, we'll just play, you know, hula hoops for 10 minutes and the company's going to get better. It's a real shift in the mindset of the company, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And that, that's really key because we have been socialized that work is so much about productivity that we sometimes forget to think about the quality of the space that we're co-creating. And that's really the essence of this concept of play space. It's not just funny hats and games. Those, those can be energizing in, in many ways, so I don't discount those. But we're also talking about space for for the play of new ideas, for people to play new roles, and for improvised play, and in fact more play in the system, more flexibility. All of these things are part of this idea of play space. In other words, if you come up with an idea, nobody's going to say, no, 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 we don't do that here. Exactly. Right? It's exactly. just being open to new ideas is Absolutely. what you're talking about. And, and being able to build on those ideas and create space that all voices can be heard, and, and there's a real chance for people to engage in a much more fuller way. You also talk about uh, the holistic idea of management, and I think in the past co corporations have really been divided right there was the accounting department and the production department and 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 you're saying it should all be looked at as one organic whole right? absolutely so we're, we're really moving away from this metaphor of organization as machine to one that is more organic and holistic and that opens up lots of possibilities for people to engage as whole people and also for the system to communicate and collaborate in much more interesting and creative ways and that represents a real shift and we're seeing higher productivity we're seeing more creativity and innovation out of these kinds of more organic and collaborative organizations but you know I think um, change is always difficult in any organization right. especially when you're saying to people take a bit of a risk say something silly come up with an idea that's yes. silly because people are always worried about are they gonna laugh at me are they gonna you know there there is there is a little sort of discomfort in asking people to break out of their normal routines. Yes, and so we, we can't just flip a switch and assume that people will jump in and be taking risks. And that's a big part of what I write about in the book, that we have to create safe space for people to do that. And one of the ways that, that managers can do that and, and leaders in the organization is to do something that I call being a permission giver to start modeling this behavior and start showing that risk-taking won't be punished and give people a sense of what that actually looks like in the organization. Okay. Yeah. Got some fascinating ideas in the book. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Take another look at the weather forecast now, Lori. We still have some sunshine right now across southern Quebec.